Another option for calibration of the E3X HD amplifier is the auto teach. You would use this method if you are actually detecting falling parts and therefore you cannot freeze them in midair to do the two point teach, or if you simply do not want to stop the line to add the sensor or recalibrate it. So I am going to move the target back and forth in front of the beam spot to simulate the parts moving by. And all you need to do for this calibration method is hold down the tune button. So I'm going to hold this down and move the part for about six seconds until you see the display say auto. Then I'll lift up the button. You can see it flashes briefly and that was it. That's all you need to do. Keep in mind with this method, whatever goes in front of the beam spot during the time when I'm holding down the tune button, um, that's going to be kind of factored into what the threshold value should be. So make sure that you don't have parts moving, wobbling in ways that they wouldn't naturally move during detection of the targets.